Okay, today we are going to create an image such as this one, a still life of flowers, and we're gonna do it very loose, very expressive, um, kind of in an impressionistic style, giving the impression of flowers, not giving all the details of the flowers. So, what you wanna do first is you're gonna need a round paintbrush such as this one, one that has a little skinnier of a tip, and you're gonna want to make the vase. So to make the shape of the vase, just think like a big letter U and you don't want it too tiny on your paper and you don't want it too big. So you kind of want it to be about the size of your hand roughly, like if you were to draw a letter U. Don't make it too high because you're going to need space for your flowers and don't make it too low. So you want to come up like it two inches or so, lay your hand and roughly that's how big you want to make it. So something like that. So it's just a letter U, that's all it is. And notice how I'm not being too perfect with this. There it is. Then, with black paint, you want to paint in some circles. These are gonna be your flowers. And they can be different sizes. They can touch each other or not touch each other. I think I'll do five flowers here. And then inside each flower, go ahead and make a dot. Now they don't really look like flowers yet. Remember they are just the suggestion of flowers. We're not doing every detail. And then go ahead and make some leaves. So I like to make them just kind of football shapes. Pick areas to have them stick out. Some can be big. Some can be skinny, some can be small. If it goes off your paper, it goes off your paper, that's fine. Something like that. And then, create a horizontal line, skip, horizontal line, skip, and that is the surface of your table. So there it is, very quickly, how to paint in a vase of flowers. Now we have to color in our vase of flowers. So I have paint here on my brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it down here in strokes. Now you're gonna see when the paint runs off the brush, you get this kind of really cool effect that happens on your artwork. That's called dry brushing. Once the brush becomes dry and you scrape it across your paper, you get this little effect called dry brushing. So that's a technique a lot of artists use. Now I'm gonna switch brushes. Now I'm gonna to move to my flat brush. And I am going to get some white on this. Just on the tip of my brush. And I'm gonna scrape that across here as well. And I'm not worrying if this is perfect. Again, I'm kinda of letting the paint run out a little bit so I get that dry brush effect. I'm gonna rinse my brush now, and now I'm gonna pick colors I want to use for my flowers. So you don't wanna to go too crazy here, so maybe if you wanna do all the flowers the exact same, you can, or you can kinda of change up their colors. So I think for some of my flowers, I'll make them magenta. So I'm gonna dip my brush into my magenta, and then I'm actually going to take up a little bit of the white. Now be careful not to ruin completely your puddle of white. Normally we would rinse our brush in between colors all the time. This project, we want them to kind of blend a bit. But just be careful um, not to make it blend too much. Okay, so now I'm going to paint in my flower and you're going to see how the white and the magenta just kind of naturally blend. Okay, now I'm going to rinse and I want to move to orange. So I'm going to take orange. Take a little bit of white. And it's okay if you get on your black lines a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna rinse and now I'm gonna do purple or violet with a little bit of white. Now I'm going to take some lighter green here and move into my petals. 
And I'm just going to kind of make little lines in there. Real expressive, real quick mark making. And I'm also going to paint in this little center part that I couldn't reach anything. I'm going to paint that with my lighter green. And then now I'm going to go back with a little bit of a darker green and layer that in. Again, and don't be too worried if you're getting on top of your black lines. Okay, so now the same colors that you used for your flowers, you can dry brush those into your background. So I just get a little on my brush, let it wipe off onto the background, and then let it do that little dry brush effect. It's okay if some of the paper is coming through. That's actually what we want. We want some of that paper to come through. All right, so something like that. And then finally, our last step is to do the vase. So you want to pick your color. I'm going to pick violet. And then I'm going to touch into the white. So I have violet and white on my brush at the same time. And I'm going to move in this letter U direction. Okay, and that's pretty much it, my friends. So here we have a beautiful still life done very expressively, kind of quick, learning dry brushing, how to use two colors on your brush at the same time, and how to um, get the idea of something rather than every little detail of something. There you are, beautiful artwork. <laughs>